while to a certain degree this book marks my 10 years anniversary in leadership positions in higher education. Um, so it is based on my experience as Dean of ESCP Business School in Berlin, now in Paris, but also on what I learned before as the school's Dean for Academic Affairs or its Brand and Communications Director. And uh, over the last decade, I here and there have written a couple of articles on higher education's transformation and digitalization, and this topic has somehow become one of my more pronounced publication areas over the years. And in this book, I just wanted to bring it all together. Um, all the more so since the current COVID-19 crisis and pandemic definitely accelerates and uh, accentuates the sector's transformative powers. Well, um, this book essentially looks at the various higher education areas that already have or will likely undergo radical changes. Learning and teaching approaches will increasingly move into the digital sphere. Both AI advances and big data availability will change pedagogical formats. And course contents might evolve, uh, focusing more on developing skills with a stronger emphasis on inter- and uh, multidisciplinary study content, aiming at educating responsible and sustainability-minded leaders. The book also looks at existing and new competitive forces entering higher education, such as edtech startups, providers of nano and micro degrees, corporate universities, as well as big tech corporations increasingly interested in academia. In the end, as the book's title indicates, the question of potential disruption is asked. All this is based next to obviously my own thoughts on a couple of real-world case studies and several interviews I led with experts within the sector. To me, a significant claim is that universities can vigorously protect themselves from potential disruption if they focus on community and uh, relationship building. Uh, to a certain degree, academic content can be commodified, especially in times of digitalization. Uh, however, relationships are much harder to replace. Therefore, if you ask me, the stronger the relationships between a university and its various stakeholders, that is, alumni, students, professors, staff, external partners and beyond, the more protected a university is against future disruptive developments. Finally, um, the book's conclusion is uh, quite simple. It's more of a call for action for the university of the 21st century, most likely having to fight to stay relevant and not give in to its possible progressive uh, steady dismantling. <laughs>